haven't heard anything about anything relating to marijuana. I wouldn't take it myself. I have no desire for it. But. I do not believe it should be legalized. I believe we should do more scientific proof and make it a medicine. Take the THC out and deal a lot more with the CBD and see what we can do with the oil for kids with seizures, for people with MS, Parkinson's. I think it's I think it's all right. I mean, there's definitely some people who use it just recreationally, um, but there there's a couple of bad eggs, yeah. But that's just that's, that goes with anything. The side effects of medication are so much worse than getting stoned. Do you think that uh, children in our community are getting a hold of medical marijuana or marijuana in general? Uh, maybe a small percentage. A few kids. I use it personally and it doesn't affect me at all. It's almost like I'm normal all the time. Okay. Um, do you think it's affected the valley in a positive way or a negative way? That's a good question. Just for pointers, and, and it's kind of crazy that you're asking about this. You know, really with marijuana, as far as I'm concerned, what you do in your own home, it's your own business. And that should be good enough. I mean, so I don't really have, I don't really would say it's a negative or a positive in the valley. Um, I guess it could go both ways on that one, honestly, because some people would misuse it, so a lot of people are probably not responsible enough, so it could go either way on that one, honestly. If they legalized it over here like there, they would find that not only if people don't smoke it, there is other medical benefits of it, like for myself, I use marijuana, but I am a, a Washington resident. Heard you put that word I want, sterile, typical, thank you. But it's just truth. We see, we see more street people. We see more almost homelessness. We see more robberies. Uh, cannabis has just proven to be magic in too many different ways for me. Uh, when there was a new industry being born that I just happened to have a knack for. It was a no-brainer that this was my destiny, this is where I was supposed to be. So, uh, Locally here in town we provide Canna for Life. Uh, we're also up at Floyd's and Pullman and then we have shops all over the rest of the state. Uh, our shops can be found on hellscanyoncannabis.com. Uh, we have a list of all of our vendors, all of our products, all of our processes, all of our lack of processes. Uh, so it's an educational page that will really allow you to understand. Uh, my name is Ben Austin. I am a cannabis advocate. I work at Pacific Empire Radio right now, uh, which is uh, 102.9 Classic Rock, 101.5 Cat FM, and uh, Hot Country uh, 94.1. People would be mad if I didn't say that. I worked at Canna for Life for a little over a year. Just absolutely found my passion in the cannabis industry. I say you have to love your job if you don't care about doing it right. There's a lot of poison for profit in the cannabis industry right now. A spray it and forget it type of mentality. We're going to go ahead and put our machines on auto water, these garbage synthetic nutrients, spray them down once with poison, forget it, come back in a month, and be able to charge somebody a whole bunch of very cheap cannabis. So, wow. And so after meeting Steve, I just had a whole new appreciation for growers and especially for guys like Steve, which there is no guys like Steve, it's just Steve. Just the way he his passion that he attacks his obstacles and just i mean just blows right through anything you say no you can't do that and then he goes and does it anyway so we've had politically driven laws that have made it where people have lived in fear they've been jailed they've been persecuted uh, so the stigma that goes with it is ingrained in more than one generation everybody talks about when you when you first experience when you 12, 13, 14, 15. The thing is, is this, I mean, what do you do when you're that age? You experiment with what you don't understand. Okay, so how do you fix that? You make people understand, you educate, you inform. When teens drink, they know exactly what they're getting themselves into because we educate the holy crap out of them as to what exactly is gonna happen. Cigarettes, we bring in burnt lungs to show them into a classroom, open it up, the stink, the visual of it. Some kids have been scarred for that to prove a point. What do we do with cannabis? We shove it under the rug and then we tell people, don't even look at it. I hate to just throw it back in the parent's lap because I am a parent, but I think there's a time that we have to step up and find out where our kids are, what they're doing and really not be afraid. Our society 
like takes our power away. Our kid has more power. That's really the one that anyone wants to talk about negativity with kids getting cannabis. Let's talk about parenting. Not only parenting of when they shouldn't use cannabis, but parenting and ethics and consciousness of when they should. And I just read about another couple who had their son taken away because they gave him cannabis that was stopping his epileptic seizures. All the, all the cons that they told us that were gonna happen from legalizing cannabis have not happened. Um, adolescent drug use has gone down. So we can point fingers and we can blame and all the different issues. The reality is, is we need individuality and responsibility from parents that will educate their children properly, not put them in the places to where they would be exposed to things unnecessarily, and have them teach them judgment to where they can make up their mind for themselves without putting themselves at risk. So shirts getting in there, uh, no more than ever, probably less than ever now, because now you can't just find it as easy. Uh, crime has dropped by 25% in most states. Opioid use has dropped by 25%. You know, I mean, I could go on and on and on about how this helps. It just, it's all across the board. You know, in terms of the community, I think that everyone's pretty versed on what we do here. They understand that we fought hard to give the people what they voted for, to give them a product that they can be proud of, to provide economic support to a failing valley. I think they know all the things that we've really done here. What I want them to know is that it shouldn't stop there. It shouldn't have stopped with the cannabis movement. It needs to continue. And I will always love what they once stood for as far as the beacon of starting something in this area. At the time, nobody else was, was willing to put themselves out there like that. Time and time again, I mean, they got shut down over and over and over again, and they still kept fighting. And uh, why were they getting shut down? Because the city was, was fighting it. A Washington town that borders Idaho will discuss a ban on recreational marijuana sales tomorrow. You know, they were saying they had the right to surpass or, or overlook the state legalization and say, we won't allow that in our county. And so that's why, you know, you had I mean, hundreds of people show up and say, no, we will not allow this to happen. We voted for this. We voted for this to come in. How dare you step in the way? Steve, Kelly Jackson, we're right in the forefront of that. Marijuana continues to be a very controversial topic. To some people, it means a lot. To some people, they really don't care. And to others, it's very important that it's legalized. I found a lot of passionate people, and I found people that weren't interested at all. Either way, I do believe it is a very important issue that we all should be talking about. Even on a national level, we're going to have to deal with it. I mean, every state around us, you know, we've got Washington, Oregon, Montana. That's all being legalized. The University of Idaho and LCSC down here, you know, if kids want to get their hands on pot, all they got to do is go across the river. And I realize that they're not supposed to sell it to out-of-state residents, but it, you know it happens. Yeah. And, and they're bringing it back here. And they're smoking it here, so eventually I think the state of Idaho, or on the national level, it'll have to, it'll have to be addressed. Definitely.